free speech is the mechanism by which we keep our society functioning. Woo! Here, here. It's, it's, in, it's as a consequence of free speech and the ability to speak that people can put their finger on problems, articulate what those problems are, solve them, and come to a consensus. Woo! And we risk losing that. With Bill C-16 and its surrounding legislation, it's the first time I've seen in our legislative history where people are attempting to make us speak their language. Shame! 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 And I know how it starts. It starts with restrictions on freedom of speech, and we don't need them. I just got here like 20 minutes ago, not even, and like, I'm just really disgusted by that, like that they're bringing that kind of thing out here. And I mean, like, it's it's very ironic in itself that we're trying to have a discussion here about being able to have a discussion, and they're doing that. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like they're literally, they're literally proving our point for us, right? Yeah. It's I want to like ask them to stop nicely or something. Like, I don't know. Like, this, this, this. I think asking nicely works with these people. It's really ridiculous. Maybe if you say please. I came prepared this time. What's your What's your main arguments? Because you're allowed to go on the mic. No, I don't want to. Why not? White noise for white noise. That's how it works. But they're actually saying things. You're literally white noise. What? They're actually making arguments. You're literally just making white noise. You need to talk to somebody else. I just want to say one thing to the people who are yelling and screaming and trying to silence others. The opinion that is silenced, for all we know, could be the opinion that is true. And when you silence other people's opinions, no matter what those opinions are, even if you strongly disagree with those opinions, you could be silencing the truth. So I was at UTSU, and all these guys right here, they were demanding for Jasmine. They were demanding for the UTSU to come and talk to them. They, they wanted to parlay, okay? So we're in a discussion right here. There is a bunch of people. I think everybody here, we should have a discussion and nothing else. That's not helping if you're just chanting stuff. Come here and bring the mic and let's talk. Yeah. Do you want to talk? Yeah, what's up? What, what, do, you, what do your signs mean? I want to save civilization. We have proof. <laughs> I'm a racial realist. I mean, there's just evidence. Yeah, there's evidence Jordan to prove it. I have, is not a I have strong a evidence to prove. Yeah. And Jordan Freeman, he can prove to us he's not a goal. I want to see his birth I'm under audit, so I can't prove the show the evidence the right now. Greatest, second greatest civilization of all time. How can he do this? We are not like sorry. Yeah, we're not against student movements and student activism. We just think this is a really poor medium of going about that. Can I get a picture with your Merkel is hotter than Southern? By all means. Oh yeah. I said I was wondering if I could get your opinion. No, we're good. Thank you. Fuck you. That's my opinion. We're good. Oh, it's water. So much fun. So much fun. <laughs> I come from a country that has been bombed by NATO and that has been war torn to this country where I thought it was more liberal and more democratic and now they are not even allowing people to speak on the on the campus and they're labeling them all as racist privilege is given to those people that have been grown up in a country that has not been bombed that has not have any kind of war in it and they have the freedom of speech saying those kind of stuff but this is just outrageous it's it's despicable and it's just disgusting to have these people protest 
against hate speech. They are doing the, the hatred and the racism here. Where are you from? I'm from Serbia. Officer, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything that happened. There's no, there's no reason to go that way. Um, I didn't see anything. Thank you very much for adding your voice. Free speech is the alternative to violence. And there's lots of people who will like violence and who are waiting for the opportunity to use it. And I'm hoping that we can talk our way out of it. Are you currently afraid for your job? Not particularly. I mean, I decided when I started this, look, lots of times in your life, you're choosing between things to be afraid of. In fact, you're always doing that in life. And I've known for a long time that if I was going to pick what to be afraid of, I was going to be afraid of not speaking rather than speaking. You know, so, and I think, you know, people have commented and did today too on my bravery, and that isn't really how I see it. I see that I'm taking the path of least resistance, and that's how frightened I am of the alternative. And it's real. There are ugly things brewing. There are ugly things brewing. Okay, so the rally just ended, and I'm covered in glitter, the police are here, the fire alarm was pulled. It just devolved into absolute chaos. Not because of Dr. Peterson, not because of the people who arranged this and were supporting free speech, but because of extremist leftists that came in here to disrupt everything. When Peterson was talking about the importance of free speech and listening to others' opinions in order to defend your own, radicals came in here and turned on a white noise machine and started yelling shame like as if they were in Game of Thrones. It was insane. But luckily I think we got the point across in a way that showed the people who support free speech are here for a conversation. They want to hear everyone's opinions. Whereas the people who are protesting Dr. Peterson devolved into violence, they devolved into silencing, name calling, and childish behavior. I'm Lauren Southern for the Rebel.media. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, then be sure to hit the subscribe button to check out more content.